Okay, so why don't you tell us what you're uh, what you're selling here? Okay, uh, I'm Tim. Uh, I started uh, TGJ Hobbies. And, uh, we manufacture a modular uh, hobby and crafting uh, organizational rack system. So I've seen a lot of other laser cut paint trays on the internet. What's going to make your product stand out above and beyond theirs? The biggest difference between uh, mine and my competitors is the material. We don't make anything out of MDF. This is a, uh, it's a furniture grade um, finished plywood. And so it's, a, it's an all hard, it's all wood material. It's got a, a wooden core. It's got two thick wooden veneers. Um, paintable, stainable, you know, totally customizable. And the system is completely modular. So it's so, not dedicated to one brand or another. Okay, so uh, by modular you mean different brands of paint and also you can expand your system. So what would you get basically if you were just starting out and you didn't need a whole lot but you plan to add on more later? I would start with the mini rack, which is our smallest module. And the mini rack comes, like all the rest of our racks do, the individual shelves are... Um, interchangeable, and when you order them, you just dictate what size you want, and there's no extra charge for that, that's just what it's designed to do, and the way the system actually works, when you expand, is if you take uh, a basic rack component, and say for instance you don't need two small drawers, you just want one, you know, the mini rack is designed to fit over one drawer module. All right, and so it actually fits right in there. It does. Yeah, they're they're all keyed together exactly the same way. So if you went up uh, and you wanted to add another, you know, small drawer module, the drawer module stack. And if you really wanted to go higher than that, you really wanted to go nuts, you can. They go all the way up. You can go as far as you want to go. I've had these stacked up ten feet to the ceiling one time. So that's actually good for somebody who has like a limited painting space. Yeah. You know, they can they can go up instead of out. Correct. They also allow you to go out. So if you move away from the mini rack and you take your drawers and put them back down side by side, a basic rack width is the equivalent of two of them. And then to achieve a larger effect, if you see the corners here, you just simply slide them together and the piece goes on and around and over and under and through. So you can scale this for basically any level of hobby painting. Just about. As high up as you really want to go. Earlier you were showing me something cool about the inserts. Is you can hang them on the wall, which I thought was really clever. So you could just put them up like that. And to show that they actually do work in that fashion. Very cool. Now, uh, these trays, you can get different sizes on the uh, holes as well. Yes, I have them uh, Have them in just about everything, actually, um, that I am aware of. The only brand we're not, and by currently supporting, I mean the only one I don't have ready for production right now is the Flames and War Bottles. Okay. A unique size. Everything so, else is ready for production. So you've got the standard testers, model color. Most um, dropper bottles, so Scale 75, Andrea, Citadel, or excuse me, uh, Reaper, Vallejo, um, uh, countless, any, mostly anything in a dropper bottle is standard width. Uh, and then the next size up, you have the, um, the next size up here is, is, the next size up is actually fit for uh, Primateer Press, the Formula P3, and the Badger Minotaur. Uh, size for those lines so they fit perfectly uh, and then the next size up from that is going to hold your Citadel paints, your Tamiya, your Model Master, Liquitex, Craft Paint, this is the spritzer bottle for yeah. blue. And then I, I do make this one larger set here which is the largest hole we make and this is good for epoxies and resins and mixes and formularies and things like that. It also holds um, uh, Oh, what do you call them? The Liquitex tubes for these different artist gels and things like that. What are these big holes in the back for? Those are for red solo cups. 
or water or drinks or mixing foods or sticks or whatever you want to do with them. Beer, I like to tell people, but don't mix your paint and your beer water. Uh, then the holes on the top of the basic rack there for various different toolings, cutters, snippers, you know, brushes, uh, pretty much anything you can fit in there. So what's your price point, say, getting started on uh, that basic rack we started looking at first? The, the mini rack starts at $25. Okay, and that's customizable size holes. With the customizable size holes. When you order them, you actually, you give me four sizes, because the very bottom hole is turned upside down, and that's what holds the front row in place. So I give you four shells, you use three on the basic rack. So what I recommend is, you know, say you have all sitted out here, get the fourth one in a different size. That way later if you expand or move out, you can change it up and you already have one uh, that you can try. Um, glue is not necessarily required to assemble these. There's no tooling to put them together. Uh, I do recommend, you know, like some thin, thin glue in the inside corners just to kind of hold them together a little better. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it can be a little uh, now we're uh, that's the basic 25. The basic. What if I wanted this big, uh, this big entire setup. setup? We call this our core set. This runs for 190, and that comes with the uh, two small drawers and the one large drawer plus the basic rack. Okay, say that all again without me waving my hand in front of the camera. Sure, that'd be that'd be great. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, core set. Uh, the core set package comes with the two small drawers and the single large drawer plus the basic rack. Okay. Excellent. That's one night. And then these little corner pieces, how much are they? The corner pieces are 25 for the corner rack. And then uh, I have to double check my price sheet here, but I believe the corner units are about 45 for the large drawer. I believe they're 35. I'll have to double check that. And everything is completely modular. So you start out with the basic $25 rack and you can just build up from there. You can just go up from there. I've noticed you've uh, engraved your logo on here. I do. Uh, what if uh, I was a hobby store owner and wanted to carry your product? We take all of our stores that carry our product, we move our logo down to the corner and engrave your name across the top, generating a house brand for you. So it's, it's, it becomes your product at that point. So just manufacture it. What's your website? Website is uh, tgjhobbies.com. Okay. Well, hey, really thank you for taking the time to show us all this tonight. tgjhobbies.com? Yes, sir. All right, excellent. All right, thank you very much. All right.